Well, there was a time in this country when people were treated like commodities, the days of slavery. Artist John W. Jones inspired to turn images from Confederate currency into works of art. He calls it the color of money. It is now at the African American Museum in Dallas. Thank you so much for joining us. When and how did you first become acquainted with Confederate money? It's not something most of us would study. Well, about 20 years ago, I was working in a blueprint company in North Charleston, South Carolina, and a customer of mine bought one of these notes in and asked me to enlarge it and print it out large for him. And when I did so, I noticed that there were slaves on this old money. Now, I've seen Confederate money before, but I'd never paid any attention about what was on these old uh, notes until then. So I decided to do a little research to see how many, much, uh, how many more of these images that I could find. And so far, I found over 300 different mm. instruments of commerce that had images of slaves picking cotton and then other pursuits, to tobacco, uh, rice, and, and so forth and so on. Yeah, you were kind enough to share some of your work with us, and, and it is remarkable, and even the more remarkable because it is inspired by true life at the time. Some of the paper money that you used for inspiration were not issued by the government of the Confederacy, but even by small local banks. Absolutely. Not only just banks, but insurance companies, railroad companies, timber companies, and even some individuals were printing currency during that period. Um, what was the message that they told us back then, and what's the message for us today? Well, these images were being used as propaganda. They were designed to actively affirm and aggressively promote the slave labor system of their plantation economy. It is sometimes said that the history of a country is reflected in its money. Well, that was certainly true during that period. Uh, notes of different sizes, different shapes, but they were all being used as propaganda. It's fascinating that uh, the one image that we're looking at right now, which is uh, the, the, the man, the slave, carrying uh, corn, a box of corn, and there is another companion image on another bill that portrays that same person, but as a white man, and, and both of them happy because yes. everything's terrific uh, in in their world. Yes, absolutely. That's that's called a recycled uh, note. Uh, when this all first started, the South didn't have any images of African Americans to put on their money, so they had to recycle ones that they had of white images, and they literally changed their clothing and made them into slaves. And this is typical on, on uh, several other notes that we find in the earlier phases of these this uh, inspection of these old currencies. Right, and it, and it was, um, as you say, to send a message to the world about the prosperity and about what a great place the Confederacy was for, for everyone. Absolutely. These images uh, don't show any bitterness mm -hmm. or anything. They only show the, the positive side that the South and the Confederacy wanted to show. You never see anything about slaves being whipped or children being sold. Only the positive side that the South and the Confederacy wanted to show. Fascinating idea, fascinating exhibit, beautiful artwork. Thank you for bringing it to life tonight. John W. Jones has a free gallery talk at the African American Museum of Dallas. The exhibit will be there through July 24th. We have a link about the exhibit called The Color of Money. You can find that on fox4news.com.